So now let's talk about how you see your drone and how you interact with it and view it. So we're going to start off first off all the non-camera ways to use a drone. Now, a term you're going to hear a lot is VLOS, which stands for Visual Line of Sight. Uh, it means exactly what it is. You keep the drone in your eyesight. You don't need uh, binoculars. You don't need um, like a telescope. You don't need a radar or anything like that. It's just you can physically see your drone. Uh, if it goes behind a, cam uh, behind a cloud or if it goes behind some obstacles, technically you're now out of visual line of sight. And there are rules against that. So for example, you cannot fly your drone behind a cloud because according to law, you must keep your drone in visual line of sight at all times. Same thing, you can't take your drone into a building uh, where you can't see anymore because you need to have the drone in visual line of sight. Beyond visual line of sight, we have what is known as extended visual line of sight. So now you're going to use either a, uh, a telescope or binoculars or whatever to keep an eye on your drone. Now, this is not allowed by the FAA without a waiver of some sort. So you have to get approval just to do this. And then we have beyond visual line of sight. Again you need approval. That means you can no longer see your drone, not even with binoculars. It could be that you flew it so far away that you can't see anymore. It's it's disappeared into the distance. It could be that it's behind buildings. It could be a lot of things. And again, you need a waiver to do this. For example, FPL, Florida Power and Light, is currently working on their approval process to get a drone to be able to fly beyond visual line of sight and to do so they have to order and get a special drone with a parachute that way if the drone were to malfunction it, the parachute would launch and it would drop down and the reason why FPL wants this and the reason why they're hiring more drone pilots to begin with is because they want drones to be able to inspect power lines after a hurricane and a lot of those places you can't get to because of all the debris and tree falling. So getting a drone out there is the best way to do it. Now, once you go beyond that and you start adding a camera on top of your drone, you have first person view, just like in the video game FPV. And which is, by, my, by the way, my favorite style of flying. So FPV refers to a remote pilot operating an unmanned aircraft by reference to an onboard video camera, such as this one right here in the Mobile 7. And you have a pair of goggles on and you see visually through the drone. Now, by law, if you're flying FPV, you need another person with you that is being your visual observer, also known as a VO. And the reason behind that is because when you're flying with a camera, you cannot see behind the drone. So if you're flying one way and you go to turn around, there might be a person who just walked out of nowhere and went into the park. So you're supposed to have a visual observer with you to let you know when that happens. Okay. And even though you have a camera on the drone, by law, you must be able to remain visual. The drone must stay within visual line of sight. So in other words, if you were to take off your goggles, you should be able to see the drone.